Welcome back to the channel and to another 2K19 video. So a pretty big one today as yes we have got another official trade up this time it's again for the 2K showcase mode but this time it gives us a bunch of extra in game footage which in turn confirms multiple things. In this video we're going to be breaking it all down but firstly if you haven't seen it yet check out the trade up then after we'll come back and break it all down. I've never had it easy in WWE. I've had injuries. I was released twice. I really didn't know what to do. Just when I had scratched and clawed my way to the top, my in-ring career was over. But that's not how I wanted my story to end. Here comes Daniel Bryan! Bryan's got more guts than brains, period. Oh, Bryan's fired up! Could this be his moment? This is more than a match. This is more than a fight. This is a war. Finally, I have an opportunity here in the WWE. Oh, oh man! That may be one of the fastest title changes in the history of WrestleMania. For every step forward, it seemed like I took two steps back. Daniel Bryan has had his back against the wall since the beginning. Let me tell you something. I'm the pro. I am the talent. Daniel Bryan's fairy tale evening just came to a screeching halt. What is Daniel Bryan doing? We are not leaving until we get what we want. Now it's Daniel Bryan gets the wall. The impossible dream. One of the most incredible performances. If you fight for your dreams, your dreams will fight. I'm sure you would agree with me, a pretty badass trade up. Whilst it doesn't show masses of anything super new, it does give us some cool smaller stuff like new matches for the 2K showcase itself and a first look at various superstars in this year's game. Anyway, let's get this going and let's get into the breakdown. So the gameplay section starts off with another look at the current version of Daniel Bryan. That moves on to a clip with Cena vs Bryan at Velocity which of course we've seen previously. Then on to WrestleMania 30 where we get to see Daniel Bryan's entrance attire and a look at the WrestleMania 30 arena. It then moves on and confirms a new match for this year's showcase as we get to see footage from Jericho vs Bryan from the match on the original NXT. Along with the match this also confirms everything else that comes with it such as versions, attires and of course the arena. Another look at the Team Hano gameplay as seen previously when Team Hano won the Tag Team Championships before then giving us another look at current date Daniel Bryan, specifically the one we saw at this year's WrestleMania 34 in that big tag team match. This gives us our first look at Shane McMahon with more clips coming up shortly. We then get to see Daniel Bryan's feud with Bray Wyatt featuring the moment Bryan would finally turn on the group which took place on an episode of Raw in January 2014, with that one featuring the Usos versus the Wyatts in a steel cage match. This also gives us our first look at the classic version of the Wyatt family, once again more here coming shortly. Next up more clips of Orton vs Bryan from Raw 2014 that of course we've seen previously, before then going back to WrestleMania 34 and giving us another look at the arena Shane McMahon plus our first look at this year's model of Sami Zayn. Next up Sheamus vs Daniel Bryan from Wrestlemania 28. Now I didn't think this match would be included in the game given that it wasn't actually much of a match but going off this it does look to be included as you can see from the gameplay feature in it which ends up with Sheamus of course as we know leaving as the new world champion. One obvious thing that clearly sticks out is that this is not featuring the classic version of Sheamus that it should be as it actually shows a current date version instead. Now I'm assuming for whatever reason this is just for the trailer and won't be the case in the final game but it will want to showcase in this way nonetheless. Back to the positives and the good news if you are a fan of the short lived Daniel Wyatt as this gives us our first look at Brian and Mr. Tie Up in this year's game. This is of course linked to what we saw earlier in the trailer which featured the Usos versus the Wyatts in a steel cage match that culminated in the epic moment that followed. This also gives us another look at the classic version of the Wyatt family. 
Gameplay continues with our first look at John Cena versus Daniel Bryan from SummerSlam 2013, where Bryan would win the then WWE World Title. Before then, as the trailer shows, the hill turn by Triple H and Orton cashing in the Money in the Bank. This shows us this version of Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, John Cena, and the special referee version of Triple H in addition to the SummerSlam Arena. Another match that looks to be confirmed in the next clip is Daniel Bryan vs The Miz from Night of Champions 2010. While it's only a quick clip, this gives us our first look at this version of Miz in 2K19. One of the last matches that this trailer confirms is Kane vs Daniel Bryan for the world title at Extreme Rules 2014. We then get a bunch of quick clips that go over things we've seen previously in the trailer. before then going back to the Extreme Rules match we just mentioned and showcases the awesome moment of Daniel Bryan using the forklift on Kane before then diving off it, although the dive itself wasn't actually shown. We then get a bunch of more short clips and flashes of gameplay and actual footage, one of which that sticks out to me features a Ring of Honor moment. Now looks like the clip featured might be from Glory by Honor 8 that took place in 2009, which featured Brian Danielson versus Nigel McGuinness, who of course now works as a commentator for NXT. Now whilst this one could simply be a historical clip featured in the trailer, it could also be a hint that we might see something like this in the game itself, maybe as that 12th bonus match. Could be nothing, could be something, either way let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Anyway, overall I would say a pretty good trailer, again it didn't show masses of super new stuff, but it did confirm multiple showcase matches, like the stuff of the Wyatts, the NXT Jericho match, the Miz match, even the Extreme Rules match against Kane, and yeah overall I would say some pretty cool stuff. So let me know your thoughts on the trailer in the comment section down below, and as always stay tuned to the channel for more like this coming very very soon. With well, that said, that is it for this one, so until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.